Warriors NRL Fanatics here back today with a video and I'm going to give my thoughts on Marcelo Montoya heading into the 2021 NRL season. Now if you're looking at the uh, signings we've made, we've made some great signings in the forward pack. The outside backs depth is now being boosted with the likes of Sean O'Sullivan coming in to possibly fill that role in the halves in the team when we do get injuries in that position so you know our, our signings have been pretty good and this was a signing that I uh, wasn't so sure on now uh, a lot of people yeah might might agree with me on this or might disagree with me that's fine if you disagree with me everyone's got a, a different opinion but my view on this signing now now I have changed my tone recently on this signing and I had a little long, longer thought about this during the off season and my first thought was my first thought was of the signing well I thought it was a strange a signing at first and um, you know we let go Patrick Herbert we let go Adam Kieran now I don't know if Marcelo Montoya is a better player than Patrick Herbert and Adam Kieran um, I know Adam Kieran hasn't played much for the Warriors I know he hasn't been given that many opportunities in first grade I think he's been a little bit in and out he's played a lot of our um, reserve grade uh, team he's played a lot for our Canterbury Cup team and you know Patrick Herbert's been pretty much a lot of uh, starting a lot of games for the Warriors in the centers or he's been on the wing but you know Marcelo Montoya was quite a interesting signing I thought it was quite interesting and 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 strange and you know be uh, be quite honest um at first I didn't really like the signing, I didn't really like the signing, but then when I thought about it a bit longer, you know, this this is actually might be not too bad of a sign. Now I've listened to some of his um, interviews with um, the Warriors on the on the NRL.com, the Warriors website, and you know, he speaks well, he speaks alright, he's got a very strong um, family background, he's part Fijian, he's got a bit of Chilean background as well, and you know he has played um, for Fiji I think in the um, national team national rugby league a team for for Fiji and you know it was quite interesting listening to um, his chat and why he joined the Warriors and you know it was quite interesting to hear so um, now now I've changed my thoughts actually I've changed my thoughts completely now uh, thinking about in the off season and you know you're looking at depth in the outside backs and it's important we have depth in the outside backs moving forward because you know if a huge injury happens to one of our um, key players like Ken Mamalo, David Fusatua and they're out for an extended period of time then Marcelo Montoya could come in there and, and fill that role playing the centres or, or, or on the wing so you know Marcelo Montoya is actually he's a not too bad of a signing after all so you know Depth is important in the NRL. It's very important with the um, with the squad you you got to have, and you know NRL is a physical competition. You know each, each week there's always a hard game, regardless of the opposition you're facing, whether they're bottom or where they top of the ladder or anywhere else. The NRL is a physical competition, and Marcelo Montoya could definitely come into the 17. Um, contention each week or potentially be in there if injuries do occur so at the end of the day Marcelo Montoya I do wish him all the best I hope he gets um, an opportunity at some point during the season and you know if he doesn't get that opportunity it's, it's important to stay patient because you just never know in the NRL when your opportunity arises so you know Marcelo Montoya I, I wish him all the best and you know, good luck to him, and um, yeah, I, I hope, I hope to see him on the field in some games this season. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on Marcelo Montoya heading into the 2021 NRL season. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. The channel is going well at the moment. We are at 275 subscribers. So. Let's get uh, to 300 subscribers by the start of the NRL season. And um, yeah, two weeks to go until the NRL season. How exciting. 
I'm very much looking forward to it because it's a big year for the Warriors. It's going to be an exciting year in the NRL, you know. Any team can beat anyone on their day, you know. It's quite unpredictable, the NRL at times. I know the top four, sometimes you could say that's pretty much locked in. But, you know, the bottom teams can beat the top teams on their day. So I'm very much looking forward to the NRL season kicking off in two weeks' time. And, you know, I'm excited to bring out plenty more videos and content on the channel each week. There will be previews of games, of the Warriors games. There will be reviews of the Warriors games. Um, there will be a few other things as well also. I'm planning on also getting a few people to come on this channel and do a collab video with me each week. So if you're keen to uh, come on and do a collab video with me on the channel, make sure you do contact me at Warriors NRL Fanatics on Instagram. You can DM me on there or you can email me at Warriors NRL Fanatics at gmail.com. I'll put those details in the description below. So. Yeah, I will be live streaming this Saturday afternoon, which is a Saturday evening in New Zealand for the Warriors versus the Gold Coast Titans preseason trial game in Lismore. And um, yeah, come along and uh, watch that and uh, sh share your um, comments in the live chat and ask me some questions to do with the season ahead. And yeah, I'll just be reacting to the trial game. I'll be watching that trial game um, on my mobile device. So. It, it might be a little bit delayed when I um, talk about the game on my phone and what and um, talk on the live stream at the same time on my laptop. So I won't be able to show the live. I won't be able to show the game. Obviously, I can't because of copyright. So yeah, the, the stream is just to come on and have a chat about the trial game. So yeah, do make sure you check that out this Saturday evening. And um, also, I will be doing a review of that game uh, straight after straight after the game or a day after so yeah do make sure you keep an eye out for that and um yeah i'll, I'll see you guys um in the next one